This is Simon Stark and in this video we are looking at the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. So first of all we need to look at the causes of the Hungarian Revolution. And in the 1950s the Hungarian government was one of the most repressive in Eastern Europe. And one of the main reasons for this was because Hungary were allied with Nazi Germany in the Second World War and therefore they had to pay reparations towards the Soviet Union to help finance Soviet troops stationed nearby. Now Hungary were also involved in the disastrous five year plan which was based upon the Stalinist model and this aimed to build up industry and collectivise farms. Now ultimately this led to food shortages and economic ruin which was only exacerbated by the fact that Hungary could not join the Marshall Plan. Now this meant that there was slight hope when Khrushchev made his secret speech and when Poland were able to gain more political freedom. So after these events, on 22nd of October 1956, students in Budapest listed their 16 demands. And these demands included the appointment of Imre Nagy as Prime Minister, the withdrawal of Soviet troops from Hungary, freedom of speech and multi-party elections. And the actual revolt commenced on the 23rd of October where workers groups joined the students in armed revolt in an attempt to seize power away from the local communist authorities. Now in response, Moscow intervened with tanks and troops which entered Budapest to guard parliament. Now this further escalated the conflict into a nationwide event. Now on the 24th of October, Imre Nagy was appointed prime minister and he assured the Soviet delegation that intervention would not be necessary and that Hungary would stay loyal to the USSR. So therefore, on 28th of October, the Red Army began to withdraw from Budapest under instructions from Khrushchev. Now this was partly due to um, pressure from China, yet there was no chance that the Soviets would allow the Communist Party in Hungary to be undermined. Now with success almost looking certain for Hungary, Nagy announced that uh, Hungary would withdraw from the Warsaw Pact and he declared their neutrality on the 1st of November. Now this was a step too far for the Soviet Union and ultimately they shifted their position. Now they did this because they feared the collapse of communism, the dissolution of the Soviet uh, the secret police, the introduction of a multi-party political system and unacceptable moves towards press freedom. Now because of these reasons, on the 3rd of November, uh, 15 Red Army divisions and 4,000 tanks had surrounded Budapest and they killed 4,000 people sending another 200,000 into exile. Now, as a result, a new government was set up by Janos Kadar, who is a hardline communist loyal to Moscow. So now we just have to look at the impacts of the Hungarian Revolution, because despite American Radio Free Europe broadcasts urging the revolution on, the West didn't intervene. Now, this reassured the Soviets of their control in Eastern Europe. Um, however, one of the reasons why there was no Western intervention may have been because of the fact that both Britain and France were preoccupied with their plan to seize back control of the Suez Canal. Now, the rising was also seen as just a mere debating issue at the UN, so this also showed that the UN wouldn't interfere with Eastern Europe either. Any moves towards peaceful coexistence, and this is what we will look at next video, peaceful coexistence, were clearly compromised. And there was clearly a need to ref uh, for reform in Eastern Europe as the Soviets were unable to maintain their satellite states without the requisite of violence to suppress any revolutions. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.